Hello, it is I. So Forza Horizon 4 is a game that has pretty good customization. I covered it in this video of mine, so make sure to give that video a watch if you haven't already. He he he, shameless plug. But of course, we don't have every single mod that we want in the game. So in this video, I'll be going through 10 mods that we would like to see in Forza Horizon 4. Now, I have made quite a lot of these Forza Horizon 4 customization wishlist videos in the past, but most of the times I repeat previous points or mention things that are near impossible to add. However, in this video, I'll be using 10 completely brand new mods that I've never mentored before hence the new that you see in the title yeah caps lock and everything yeah mad too but not just that but these mods are pretty easy for the developers to add it's not stuff like oh you had the ability to turn your bugatti diva into a six wheel pickup truck i sound like boris johnson there so yeah none of that just simple stuff okay simple mods anyways before we get into this video let's try and obliterate six that's three six that's five six thousand likes i don't know why i did four and two but it's six isn't it as the more likes we generate on this video the higher the chance is that the developers will watch this video as it will rank higher hey you know i got some brains in it anyways without further ado let us get into hey, they said they the like video like this, so I reckon I better off give it a number one we need better turbos in horizon 4 you can max out your turbos and sometimes get around 90 brake horsepower or even more if you're lucky now this is pretty realistic however sometimes realistic is not correlated to fun. Comparing that to cars like the Mark IV Supra, you can single turbo swap it and max out the turbos to get some insane horsepower gains. I mean, look at that. Unfortunately, there is a problem with this that a lot of us players have not really noticed. With bigger single turbos, there comes a lot of turbo lag, and turbo lag is barely noticeable in Forza Horizon 4. Yep, comparing that to a game like Project Cars 2 using this Lotus 98T as an example, this is what turbo lag feels like. could probably all feel the turbo spooling up just by watching that clip. So one thing I really wish the developers could add is better turbos which could result in some crazy horsepower gains instead of boring realistic ones. And perhaps even enhancing the turbo lag too. Because turbo lag is fun. The lag is what makes turbos great. If you don't want lag then get a supercharger okay? Jesus Christ that got a little bit intense. Number two, different wheels on the front and back. So we have the ability to have different rim size on the front and back wheels. So what's stopping us from literally swapping the wheels out for different ones as well? It's a feature that's been in games like 2015 so need for speed, yet Forza haven't caught on to this trend yet. And it's not that like the Forza engine only allows the same wheels on the front and the back. For example, cars like the Hot Wheels Mustang, Focus RS RX, the Iron Knight and many, many more cars have odd wheels. So I feel like the ability to have odd wheels will be an absolute game changer, as it'll finally give us a reason to use these weird 1552 wheels for once. Also, if you have stock wheels on the rear and aftermarket ones on the front, it'll make your car look like a drift missile. On top of odd wheels, the ability to individually paint the rear and front wheels separately will be a pretty neat feature. Too. That's not all cars with odd wheels run the same colour on the front and rear. Now let's say having odd wheels isn't a very easy mod for the developers to add. Well then they can use the individual paint options for the front and rear wheels as a temporary alternative. My mind is amazing. Number 3 Tinting your headlights. So we already have the ability to tint our windows in the game and change them up to different colour tints as well. Well the headlights are also technically glass so what's stopping us from tinting them? We could give the headlights a light smoke, black them out completely, give them a light yellow tint like all on race cars or even go full on illegal and tint them red. The option to get full on custom headlights will be just as incredible. However, it may take a lot longer to do as it requires actually replacing the headlights. Anyways, the ability to tint your headlights will be an incredible addition to the game to further personalise our cars to make them stand out from the crowd. So fingers crossed that the devs will one day consider adding this into the game or perhaps a future one. More Forza wide bodies, we need them. Forza have proven to us that they can design some pretty incredible body kits as seen on cars like the Audi RS6 Avant, Focus RS and the thick Jaguar F-Type. So why not create some more wide bodies for us as well? Some cars are really restricted to mods, only allowing us to use Forza Aero. And Forza Aero is a bit ugly. So let's replace this with some incredible wide bodies that you guys provide. Like, wow, look at that. Forza Edison cars from Motorsport 7 have some pretty incredible wide bodies. The E30 M3, for example, was perfect. No rivets, no ugly parts, an actual wide body M3. This would be perfect in Forza Horizon 4, man. This would also be one of the much easier mods for the developers to add into the game, as they all already have renderings for these wide bodies for the previous games so adding these into horizon 4 will be incredible i mean just give us the wide body e30 already it's so beautiful look at 
that. So number five, number plate skins. There are four to plays from all around the world, and a lot of us love to represent what country we're from whilst driving our cars. This is why you see people like Fast Lane Gaming removing his number plate and replacing it with a Swiss number plate vinyl. So instead of removing the plate and replacing it with a different country's plate vinyl, how about adding different skins for different countries' plates? So let's have the plate be white and blue for most European plates, white with red for the United Arab of Emirates, white with maroon for Qatar, yada yada yada. It will be a great way for us to show what country we are from, and during events like Forza Gumball, it'll be a perfect addition for the game. Number six, slammed suspension. On cars like the Ford F100, you have the ability to slam it, like literally slam it onto the ground. Look at that, it's touching the ground. Ain't no speed bump gonna be compatible with this. So why can't we do this to the other cars in the game? For example, I would love to slam the R32 GTR onto the ground like what Jack Automotive car is, but this is the lowest you can go without using the Rocket Bunny kit. So the ability to let us actually slam the car no matter what car it is will be pretty incredible. I mean, imagine building a slammed G-Wagon. That would quite literally be the stupidest thing in the world, but hey, it's unique. It's different. Useless, but different. Number seven, custom steering wheels. Interior mods is a must and I really hope Forza one day let us be able to do some hardcore mods inside of the car. For example, stripping the interior, changing up the dashboard, carbon door cards, digital speedo, hydros, etc. But for the meantime, a simple temporary alternative could be for us to switch out the steering wheel to an aftermarket one. As the only part inside of the car that moves is the steering wheel, it means this is technically disconnected from the rest of the car. So the ability to switch out the steering wheel for a deep dish one, a flat bottom one, or even one of those steering wheels with the top part removed, I think that would be pretty nice, you know. It could be a great step towards custom interiors and Forza, and would be a pretty good learning curve for the Forza Horizon 4 devs. Number 8, Better Fitment. The ability to change up our fitment was introduced in Horizon 4, and it's a feature we all love. Unfortunately, a lot of the times the fitment doesn't even come close to touching the arches as you can see on this Dodge Charger. But comparing that to the Renault Clio, the fitment is incredible. It literally pokes out of the arches. So yep, quite a quick point, but I wish that Forza could extend the fitment to go past the wheel arches, as they can sometimes look incredible on a car. And finally at number 10, painted the brake calipers. Why do race brake calipers always come standard as red in the game? It actually annoys me. So devs, if you're watching, please let us change the colour of these calipers. Seeing as all the race brake calipers look the same in Forza Horizon 4, surely it would be a pretty easy mod to paint these brake calipers the colour that we want them to be painted. Because red calipers on a yellow car, they don't look too good to be honest. I mean it looks more like a McDonald's Happy Meal if you ask me. So I feel like race brakes should have been black as standard or a colour that looks good with any coloured car if you know what I mean. But the ability to change our colours on the brake calipers would be greatly appreciated. And those are 10 car mods that we need to see in Forza Horizon 4. Anyways, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you agreed with the mods that I mentioned in this video, then make sure to hit the like button. 6,000 likes is the target for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. We're trying to hit 135k by the end of this month and any help will be greatly appreciated. Now, this isn't something I plug a lot on my channel, but make sure to follow my Instagram as well. Why should I follow your Instagram, Yuan? Because I have a pet chicken now and I post it pretty much every day on my story. Plus, you get to see behind the scenes footage of how I record my videos. Plus, I'm trying to hit 10k on instagram that's that's the main reason by the way that's literally the only reason i plugged it i sound so desperate jesus christ anyways until next time have a good one guys stay safe stay inside till next time hey they said they Cheers. like it when i rap like this so i reckon i'm better off giving them that i really be one in a million killing the shit when i hit like a swing in a bar average you and i rapping like this that i